Hey everybody. Uh, never mind the voice. I'm getting over a lengthy, lengthy cold, and I'm I've got about 12 hours before my voice is totally gone. But if that happens, I will still be making lots of videos. There just won't be a lot of talking and more text. Okay, in this video, I am creating a new playlist. Um, guess how many sub tools I've got right here? Mm, any guess? Just one. If we open our sub tool palette, we can see the one sub tool that I'm working with. The rest is in the background. Um, I learned recently how to snapshot inside ZBrush. So let's move our sub tool around. And we can move this, move this, and any other subtool we have around, wherever, and then hold down Shift S. <coughs> Shift S uh, snapshots it to the scene or your your document, and um, puts it in a 2.5D state. If we hover over some of the other subtools, um, you can notice that the 3D information is still there but it is in a 2.5D state, so you can no longer work with it. Uh, okay, let's press Shift-S again, and then move this around. And we can move this and change it any way we, any way we want to. Shift-S, Shift-S, okay, increase the size. That's pretty, I like that. Shift-S, isn't that cool? And now, if, you're, if, if your scene is getting too complicated, just press Control-N to clear your scene, giving you just the subtool you're working with. So now we've, uh, we're back to a blank screen. So let's create more um, Shift-S for our document. Okay, Shift-S, Shift-S. Shift-S, and Shift-S. Isn't that cool? So if anybody likes this and is excited about the new playlist that I'm going to make many videos um, explaining how this can be utilized, um, please subscribe because I'm really excited to create many, many videos. And yeah, thanks everybody.